So what I'm working on today is actually a bandsaw box. I, uh, I saw an article recently in one of the Wood magazines about bandsaw boxes for your states and it seems like it would be a good, uh, like the article said, a great gift or even a great seller at uh, art shows or craft shows. So what I'm doing is I live in Arizona so I'm going to try out Arizona. And what I did was I printed a couple of templates, just found a Google map and uh, I printed it on some label paper that way it was sticky on the back side I just could cut it out and stick it on and what I've done is I just grabbed some scrap stuck it on and then cut it out uh, that was a thicker piece this is a real thin piece but uh, that way I can use these in the future I've got my templates already made the thing I realized and I didn't think about it till after is it's got to be able to go through the bandsaw and it can only go through whatever your resaw height is so this one won't work for me because my bandsaw is a little smaller but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this one, see how it comes out, and then I'm sure I'll use this for something in the future. I think I'm going to work on some Arizona projects uh, just to kind of have fun with the local people. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed, uh, lay this out on the block here, and uh, head to the bandsaw and start cutting and see how it goes. One thing, I'm cutting just some scraps here. I would, uh, when I do it in the future for, for gifts, I'll make it out of something a little better, but I just grabbed some scraps of pine and plywood and put them together and uh, it'll be interesting how it comes out but it'll be a fun uh, fun practice project so I'm gonna head to the bandsaw. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my pieces here after making the cuts, and what I've got is a top, a bottom, and then the center here. And so you'll see how this will go on. And being that this is an odd shape, what I did for the lid was that center section that I cut out, I just cut a sliver off of that, which I can glue to my lid here and put it in. Now, the trick will be I probably want to glue this up before I glue everything else. And the reason being is I can flip this over, line it up this way, 
put the glue and then put that in, clamp it together, uh, let that dry while I let the bottom dry. So I'm gonna do that first. So I've removed the box from the clamps. Uh, I haven't done any sanding yet, as you can see. It actually fits really nicely. Uh, I like doing the lid this way. That way it just kind of sets in and fits in a perfect place. And it actually looks really cool. It looks like Arizona. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a light sand, sand up these cuts a little bit, and then just put a simple finish on it and it'll be good to go. Uh, I haven't decided whether I want to put, initially I was going to put some uh, felt in here, but it's so cool to be able to see the wood. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but uh, definitely a fun project, easy project, real quick to do, uh, and you get a really neat little uh, box out of it. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't already done so. See you next week. Thanks for watching.